अपने अश्रु और प्राणों का अर्ध्य भी दिया है किंतु अपनी ध्येय यात्रा में हम कभी झुके नहीं किसी चुनौती के सम्मुख कभी झुके नहीं आज जबकि राष्ट्र जीवन की समस्नी दिया दाव पर लगे हैं और एक कहीं बहुत अंधेरा हमारे जीवन के सारे आलोक को निकल लेना कर्तव्य के पुनीत पद को हमने स्वेद से सींचा है कभी कभी अपने अश्रु और प्राणों का अर्ध्य भी दिया है किन्तु अपनी ध्येय यात्रा में हम कभी झुके नहीं है किसी चुनौती के समुख कभी झुके नहीं है आज जबकि राष्ट्र जीवन की समस्त दाव पर लगी है और एक दिन बहुत अंधेरा हमारे जीवन के आज गेस्ट आवाना चाहिए स्वेद ऐसी सींचा है कभी कभी अपने अश्रु और प्राणों का अर्ध्य भी दिया है किंतु अपनी ध्येय यात्रा में हम कभी हमें तारे सीरियसली शूट करव चेगे नहीं ना आई विल नॉट शूट आ Betty water but some water but she she that better than the Betty water Betty water Mom don't laugh at me Betty Yeah mom not here at the tua Mama Acha Most of the time, out of box. 
Even though our summatists are going on still, every member is devoting time to this group as their responsibility is the best part. Namaste. I, Hedy Patel, am loving the journey of the Women Wordsmiths team and my journey till now has been so amazing and memorable by meeting a new bunch of people who are very kind and polite and working with them and talking to them, it's, it's been so nice. And of course, we cannot do this physically, but we do have the option of doing it virtually and I think we are using it wisely. We make videos and we post it and they get edited and then it finally becomes an assembly. And when I watch the assembly, I think, yes, it's worth it. And I really enjoy it. And I think the best part of this whole thing has to be that we have it, we have these assemblies on every week on every Fridays. And it's just so amazing. And I really hope our team grows much better. Being a part of the group has helped me learn various skills such as effective communication. I always look forward to all the group meetings. It gives me immense pleasure to be a part of the Wordsmiths, a group where each of us is given equal opportunities and a platform to express ourselves. Thank you. My experience of Women Wordsmiths group is amazing. After joining this group, I became very confident got to learn new vocabularies. I have overcome stage of fear to a large extent, got to learn new concepts in all three languages. I got chance to participate in many assemblies. Overall, it is a great learning experience and it is an honor to be a part of this group. Thank you. My journey to be a part of this team was amazing. But for me, this experience was a little bit of difficult. But I learned lots and lots of new skills. Like I learned teamwork, the importance of deadline and it also raised up my knowledge. I improved my public speaking and self-confidence. And the most important thing which I improved was being calm and patient in each and every moment. The difficult part was that in the starting, I faced many difficulties to memorize the poem and doing it by heart. But I practiced lots and lot and now I have many experiences. So I have improved it very well. Lastly, I am very thankful to Kiran sir and all my teachers who gave me this big opportunity. Women's Wordsmiths. Because our team's assembly is every week, we meet once a week virtually and discuss upon our next theme. The thing I love the most about this group is that everyone Everyone gets an equal chance to participate. It was a different experience for me because I worked with my juniors as well as seniors. We just get confused that what will be our next theme because we have so many of them. Books, movies, fictions, games and so on. At last, I would say only one thing that this was the most memorable experience for me. Namaste. The women wordsmiths have provided me with an amazing opportunity in order to build and enhance some life-altering skills. I still remember the day when all of this began. It was 11 in the night and I got a video call from Kiran sir himself informing me about the telecast of my recitation in the morning assembly that was going to take place the next morning. I was so elated. I could not be more excited in order to know what followed this. I was added in the recitation committee group. I came in touch with the entire committee and I started mentoring some very strong orators who did not even know they were so good. We built this team. Then I was asked to become one of the in charges of this group. I was extremely honored by this. So first of all, I would like to thank Kiran sir for giving us this wonderful opportunity to present ourselves to this awesome platform. I had a lot of fun joining this group of TGS Live Assemblies. I got a lot to learn like being more confident. It increased my confidence level and I was not camera shy anymore. The mentors helped me too. They helped me to enhance my skills like communication skills, collaboration skills, critical thinking skills, leadership skills and many more. We had a new idea, a new thought 
every time like a act a mime a speech a poem etc everyone encouraged us to do more this was a wonderful journey till now and i hope it goes on as a participant of mud wordsman i had a chance to present my skills and further develop it participating in assemblies gave me a boost to my confidence while performing to a large audience i enjoyed this experience so much that it has inspired me to participate in more events in for the future hello everyone i am arvi jindani my experience with women words myths group is great and i have learned many things from this group some of them are speaking confidently and time management though it was a difficult time due to the pandemic i was fortunate that i could participate in the assemblies i had great experiences throughout the year i learned how to present myself with confidence I also learned how to coordinate things according to the deadline. I learned so many new ideas from my seniors and classmates. I thoroughly enjoyed being a part of this. As I now look back, I am really happy to see how just a group of handful of people in the beginning has now transformed into a group of young and confident reciters, speakers and performers. At the beginning when I was assigned a mentee I was really nervous and confused as to how could I mentor someone and there were times where I messed quite a bit as well but with the help of my group mates as well as my seniors I got well acquainted with the process and I really started to enjoy it I started to look forward to those zoom sessions and group meetings at first During the initial stages of the group we used to struggle with coming up with ideas for the assembly but now as i watch these assemblies daily i realize how this group has transformed and every assembly is so unique and creative to keep a positive point of view is what i learned from this group i learned a lot of new things from this group like being self motivated doing hard work and being always dedicated to this group in return the group gave me opportunities to explore my capabilities i never knew i had and helped me overcome my weaknesses it also helped me strengthen my abilities i had a lot of fun participating and organizing assemblies writing my own scripts learning things from activities like debates and hunting for good themes it was an incredible experience firstly i got a message from sir asking me to recite the poem i composed for my mother i unwillingly shot the video at least 20 times finally it was ready to be telecast i forcibly joined the group but gradually i started loving it i learned many things i grew more self confident I started directing my curiosity in a creative way. I would like to thank all the members and so to bring me out of my comfort zone. I agree upon the thought a team is not just a group of people who work together. A team is a group of people who trust each other. I experienced this by being a part of this group. The women wordsmiths has provided me so many memories that I dearly cherish and reminisce even today. One of those very fond memories is when I received a call from one of the members of the girls recitation group asking me to mentor some fellow reciters. I remember beaming with exuberation at the moment. Little did I know that this was only the beginning of a long journey to come. Never had I imagined that one day I'd be one of the in charges of this group. This group has acted like a ray of sunshine in the dark and gloom of the pandemic. It has helped me stay in close ties with my passion of poetry and recitation. Earlier, we were just a group of reciters. However, over a period of time, this platform has made us into creative thinkers, leaders, and video editors. It has been pleasure for me to be a part of this group. 
at very young age i get an opportunity to research and learn a lot all my seniors as well as cancer help and guide me always for me the journey has just begun a year before on this very day we all were locked into our homes with hundreds of unanswered questions in our brains as we witnessed the complete closure of the world uncertainty had blocked each one of us while we learned to shift our perspectives in accordance with our goals and focus morning assemblies occupy a very special place in the hearts of each snkn they were a part of the major missing eight as the courtyard clock struck and all of us ran into the courtyard to seek a better place in the courtyard unfortunately the virus took away our little joys par kise pata tha ki corona virus ek naye zamane ki neev rakhne aaya tha वर्चुअल जमाना जहां होता था सब कुछ घर बैठे ही पापा की बिजनेस मीटिंग्स हो या हर रोज की पढ़ाई सब कुछ ऑनलाइन इनफैक्ट दिस रिवॉल्यूशन चेंज अवर माइंड सेट्स टू अ ग्रेट एक्सटेंड जी हां कभी विचार यू नो तू के कोर्टयार्ड वगर मॉर्निंग प्रेयर्स थाय ने कोर्टयार्ड अने मॉर्निंग प्रेयर्स जेवा अभिन्न मित्रो पण जुदा पडी शके बट द न्यू वर्ल्ड ऑफर्ड अस विथ अ वर्चुअल कोर्टयार्ड द टीजीएस YouTube चॅनल बीइंग अ पार्ट ऑफ वुमेन वर्क्स मिल्स वाज द बेस्ट थिंग दैट हैपेंड टू मी इन 2020 दिस जर्नी ऑफ ऑल द हाईज एंड लोज taught me a lot of life skills which would help me in my future zoom meetings planning preparing discussing debating recording reshooting and finally watching our morning assemblies every friday was some things that describe this journey thank you all for watching our freaky friday morning assemblies and keeping us motivated
take the whole responsibility on your own shoulders and know that you are the creator of your own destiny. Control your thoughts, your words and your actions. Take up one idea. Make that one idea your life. Think of it, dream of it. Concentrate wholeheartedly while studying, working, playing and praying. Not every child is seen in memory power, but can achieve goal through determination. Let positive, strong, helpful thoughts enter into the brains from very childhood. You must have the ambition to be great. Climb the ladder of self-confidence. To succeed, you must have tremendous perseverance and will and the courage is the ability by which you can take the firm action to move forward. Be not afraid of anything. You will do marvelous work. The moment you fear, you are nobody. It is fear that brings misery. And it is fearlessness which brings heaven, means happiness. Arise, awake and do not stop till your goal is reached. So how beautiful life would be if we follow these golden thoughts. Zara Socho. We hope you all have enjoyed our assembly. Have a freaky Friday ahead. I now invite the music team for the exit song. Prarthana. प्रार्थना में आप सीधी और सरल भाषा में ए परम तत्व ने प्रार्थीए छ कि जेमा फ्त मारो तारो विचार ज नहीं एम सर्वनो विचार है सर्वदा ने अपने केन्द्र बिंदु राखी और सर्वदा कल्याण थाय भावना जय आप प्रगट थाय तेरे ए अपनी प्रार्थना साचा अर्थ में फलीभूत थाय આજની એવી જ એક પ્રાર્થના પાવન આત્મા આજા દિલ મે મેરે એ પરથી આપણને આજ શીખવા મળે છે કે હે ઈશ્વર હે ભગવાન મારા હૃદયમાં મારા એક મનમાં એવી આત્માનો સમાવેશ થાય એવા એક વિચારનો સમાવેશ થાય કે જેનાથી ફક્ત મારું જ નહીં પણ સર્વને શાંતિ મળે દયા મળે પ્રેમ મળે જ્ઞાન મળે કરુણા મળે આવો પ્રાર્થના કરીએ પાવન આત્મા
कृपा मर साजे अपनी दया पावन आत्मा आजा दिल में मेरे मुक्ति मुझे दे दे प्यार मुझे दे दे खुशियां मुझे दे दे